George Bailey, I'll love you till the day I die. I suppose you've decided what you want to do when you get out of college. I'm going out exploring someday, and I'm going to have a couple of harems. Hey, you look good. That's some dress you got on there. And maybe three or four wives. I'm going to build airfields. I'm going to build skyscrapers a hundred stories high. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word, and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. And I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet, and I'm going to see the world. I couldn't face being cooped up for the rest of my life in a shabby little office. Is it too much to have them work and pay and live and die in a couple of decent rooms and a bath? Your father's had a stroke. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm going to school. This is my last chance. In my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be. If Potter gets a hold of this building alone, there'll never be another decent house built in this town. If you close your doors before 6 p.m., you will never reopen. Three, two, one. This town needs this measly one-horse institution, if only to have some place where people can come without crawling to Potter. Now, you listen to me. I don't want any plastic. I don't want any ground floors. And I don't want to get married ever to anyone. I want to do what I want to do. And you're... Welcome home, Mr. Bailey. And you're... George, George, George. They do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Oh, well, 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 Harry Bailey wins Congressional Medal. That couldn't be one of the Bailey boys. Well, aren't you going to make a deposit? Oh, so sure, sure I am. <laughs> well, then it's usually customary to bring the money with you. Well, why in the world do you ever marry a guy like me? Did you see Uncle Billy with any cash last night? Where's that money? Do you realize what this means? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. I'm in trouble, Mr. Potter. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> You're worth more dead than alive. I suppose it's better if I'd never been born at all. Do you know how long it takes a working man to save five thousand dollars? Well, it's against the law to commit suicide around here. Yeah, it's against the law where I come from too. Where do you come from? Heaven. I'm worth more dead than alive. You mustn't say things like that. You've got your wish. You've never been born. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Harry Bailey went to war. He got the Congressional Medal of Honor. He saved the lives of every man on that transport. See, George, you really had a wonderful life. Every man on that transport died. Harry wasn't there to save them because you weren't there to save Harry. Ridiculous of you to think of killing yourself for money. Don't you see what a mistake it would be to throw it away? You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. You see, George, George, you were not there to stop Gower from putting that poison into the cabin. What, what's going on around here? You're screwing. You're driving me crazy, too. I'm seeing things. Mr. Gower, th this is George Bailey. Why don't you go to the riffraff you love so much and ask them to let you have a thought? He didn't save enough money to send Harry to school, let alone me. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. If it hadn't been for you. Yeah, if it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. People were human beings to him, but to you, a warped, frustrated old man, they're cattle. I knew if I were drowning, you tried to save me. I want to live again. Please, God, let me live again. <laughs> and that's how I saved you. <laughs> Joy. Bert, do you know me? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, you wonderful Billy alone! Hey! Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter! I'll bet it's a warrant for my arrest. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to jail. Oh, look at this wonderful old drafty house. My office instructed to advance you up to $25,000, Stoller. Hee-haw and Merry Christmas, Sam Wainwright. <laughs> to my big brother, George, the richest man in town. <laughs>